Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's haul. So I just want to start off first by apologizing for not having a video go up last week. It was not planned. It was a bit of a hot mess last week. So I actually did go to Trader Joe's and I picked up the only new item that my store had last week, which was the disinfectant cleaner. And it decided to spill all over my groceries and all over the trunk of my car when I got home. The bottle apparently wasn't closed all the way and it completely, like the whole bottle was empty by the time I got home. It got all over the groceries that was in that one bag that the cleaner was in, soaked the trunk of my car. It was quite a disaster. And I just did not have time that day to drive back out to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is 30 minutes from my house one way. I had to pick up the kids. And so therefore I could not film. We had stuff to do in the weekend. So I just decided decided to scrap it. The receipt was ruined. I couldn't read any of the prices because I was going to just do a haul of like the other two bags that didn't get ruined, but I didn't even have the prices. So like I said, I decided to scrap it, went back, returned it. I did not pick it up again. I think I'm holding a grudge. <laughs> so I will just insert the picture of what the cleaner looks like. I can't say it does smell good. I mean, my car still smells good to this day and it's been a week later. Um, but let's get into this week's haul. There are some new items, so there will be a taste test. So we picked up just some tater tots. The kids love these. So picked up another thing of this. Now, I am gonna be doing some homemade like kava bowls, although I have never even actually been to kava. They do have them here near me. I've just never been, but I found a recipe that looked really good. Like you marinate the chicken in like this harissa marinade, and then you kind of just add whatever you want. So to the bowls, we're gonna add some hummus. I thought the Mediterranean style hummus would be good to add on that. And then any extras, of course, I can eat this up because I love some good hummus. And I paired that with the feta cheese Mediterranean herbs. Uh, so we'll sprinkle some feta cheese on there, add some hummus. We've got to have some spice. So I grabbed this to add to the bowl, the Zung sauce. Really great cilantro spicy sauce. I thought that would be good with it. With the chicken, add some lettuce, some rice. You can really add whatever you want. Oh, I grabbed some cucumber too. I think I'm gonna chop up some cucumber and some pickled red onions and kind of add that to a bowl. So looking forward to that dinner. Sounds like it's gonna be really good. And then this over here, I think we're gonna add this to the taste test because we have never tried these before. I've always wanted to. These are the winter frost pine berries. I hear, I think, I think people like these. I think I've heard good things. I've never purchased them before because I thought they were expensive. I don't know if they're typically are, but I believe these were $3.99. Of course, I'll have the prices for you guys listed, um, but it wasn't bad price at all. So I was like, let me try those now because yeah. So we're gonna try these in the taste test. I'm very curious to see what these are gonna taste like. Uh, for another dinner, we are gonna do chorizo potato taco. So gotta have the soy chorizo over here. And another thing I love about Trader Joe's is their like produce doesn't go by weight. It's just a single price. So all potatoes are 79 cents each. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like look at this whole bag of mini potatoes. This is like the biggest potato I have ever seen. Even the girl at the checkout was like, that is a giant potato. Like they're 79 cents each. So I make sure to find the biggest one that I can find. So I'm gonna chop this up. Um, fry it up with the chorizo um, with some cheese and then make some tacos. We like these as the taco shells, the mini flour um, tortillas. So yeah, that's gonna be a dinner one night this week. I also grabbed the teeny tiny potatoes. I'm probably just gonna like smash these up, roast them with some Parmesan, and we'll use this for a side dish for another dinner this week. And then this item I grabbed last week, um, but of course <laughs> didn't have the haul. This is the spicy buffalo cheddar. This is one of my favorite cheeses from Trader Joe's and it is seasonal. So if you guys have been missing out on some of this cheese, they do have it out now. So yeah, I would grab it. They still had it this week too. So just wanted to throw that in there. I also picked up some of the habanero lime flour tortillas. Maybe I'll make like a quesadilla or something with the buffalo cheddar cheese with some beans and stuff. So yeah, just picked up some of that. I also grabbed some lettuce this week uh, for my lunches, the organic baby spinach and spring mix blend. This is a weekly staple now. Brent requests this every week, the Joe O cereal bars, peanut butter flavored. So we picked that up for him. I grabbed some mozzarella cheese. We're having pizza tonight for dinner. I also grabbed a big thing of the Greek non-fat plain yogurt. Lakeland has been loving yogurt and I'm actually really craving yogurt too. So I'm gonna have this with breakfast. 
I'm gonna have this um, for breakfast too with her. We love to sweeten it with honey and then add some granola on top. You can add fruit as well. So great, so we love that. And then we are on to our first brand new item of the week. It's been a while since Trader Joe's came out with a new ice cream. We have got the Dolce de Leche flavored ice cream. So it's caramel flavored ice cream with a smooth milk caramel swirl. I think me and Brent are really gonna enjoy this one. Okay, so here's the nutrition facts and the ingredients. It does contain milk and egg. Let me scroll for you. There you go. Down here we've got a seasonal candle. This one's one of my favorite. This one is the grapefruit scented candle and this is just the traditional size. This is the 5.7 ounces. But we've got the brand new trio for spring. They came out with this last year but there are new scents this year. We've got raspberry and roses, rhubarb and bamboo, and then lemon verbena. And these are smaller ones too. I can't see the ounces. These are 2.82 ounces, so half the size of this one over here. The one that sounds the most interesting is the rhubarb and bamboo. I'm very curious to see if that's gonna smell good or not, but this is $9.99 for the trio set. The kids snack this week, I decided to get them the cheese puffs over here. Now this next new item, it was in the new item section, so I'm gonna throw this in the taste test video, but I'm not positive. Let me know, have you guys seen this item before or not? We have got the brown butter salted caramel mini biscotti. So yeah, we are definitely gonna try this one in the taste test video. Okay, and then here are the nutrition facts and the ingredients. Okay, and then also, if you guys like the spring gummies, they are back in stock now too. I was gonna pick those up until I saw these. These just looked so good and we have never tried them before. So we're gonna try these in the taste test too because we need some more items to throw in there. These are the fruity jellies. They're kettle cooked soft gummy candies. We've got orange, raspberry, lemon, blueberry, grape, and mandarin flavored and they're gluten free too so Tristan can try them. And I thought that was a lot of variety like those are a lot of flavors that come in here so I'm really excited to try these okay and then in case you guys are curious here's the nutrition facts and the ingredients in these as well too may contain milk almond cashew and hazelnut I was surprised it didn't say may contain peanuts so Tristan can definitely try these ones because he can have all other nuts besides uh, peanuts uh, so yeah really excited to try those I grabbed these for Brent for his snack the spicy mochi rice nuggets he loves those and then the sprinkle jingle is back we had to pick this up. Lakeland's gonna be excited to see this one. It's a cheerful mix of fan favorite candy treats. Okay, and just in case you guys were curious, if you wanna take like a screenshot, that is everything that comes in the Springle Jangle. But yeah, really cute, a lot of people enjoy that. Nice to keep it out on the table for guests to snack on whatever you guys want. And then there was another new item in stores that I did not pick up. I'm gonna share that item with you guys now. I have no idea, honestly, like how to prepare that item, like what you would eat it with. I've never tried it before. Uh, so that's why I didn't pick it up. I just wasn't sure like how to use it or eat it. Let me know what you guys like to pair that with and maybe I will try it in the future but let's go share that new item now okay we've got the brand new organic couscous I believe that's how you pronounce it it's 179 and then here are the nutrition facts and the ingredients okay guys that was everything this week I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you in the taste test video bye